Touching video is going to show you how to use the match and the max buyers rule that's available inside the Cadence PCB tools. So I've got a group of nets, um, this kind of data one VD bus here. And what I want to do is I want to make sure that the buyers match or I have a maximum number of buyers available for the nets and then also um, match the buyers that are on there. So the way we do this is from Constraint Manager, which we can launch from the, uh, the Constraint Manager icon or set up constraints. Uh, we'll pick electrical. We'll then go to the electrical constraint set routing and the buyers area where we'll actually go and create a physical rule for this. We don't have to create a rule. We can just go to the buyers and apply that area on the net base section, but we can create a rule for it. So I'm just going to do right mouse button to create electrical C set and we'll call this one uh, match buyers. We'll click OK. Um, so what's the maximum number of buyers I want allowed? Um, I'm going to say two. Um, if I've got specific via structures, I can then go and choose the via structures that I'm using, but not in this example, I'm just using box down the plane via, so we'll just uh, leave that section to be blank. We'll then go to the net section, and what we'll need to do is actually create a, a net class. I'm going to create a net class, uh, just to simplify the matter. So we'll find my the nets that I'm interested in, so it's, it's these nets here. We're going to do a right mouse button, create something called a class. I'm just going to call this buyers. Um, I can then go and apply my rule, um, the match fires, to those nets. Um, sorry, let's get the right location. Let's just clear that and actually pick on the, the class name, and that would apply it to all of those nets. I'm also going to enable the match fires rule, which I'll just pick um, here. Now, the key part here, obviously, the, the, the DRC mode is enabled. Sometimes, if they're not, you'll see effectively this column being yellow. So you'll see that yellow, which is an indicator that the DRC mode isn't enabled. You can either do that from literally just a right click analysis mode, and that would then turn the DRC mode on. Or we can go to the analyze menu, analysis mode. If we look under electrical, you'll see there's a, the max fire count, which is on. The match fire count is off. So I'll just turn that one on uh, and we'll hit OK. So that then is showing me what's going on. So you can see effectively I've got some, some nets here. So we've got two vias. It's giving me that this is the maximum number. These are the actual numbers available. So I've got a margin here. So you can see I've got a net specifically failing. Um, this, this specific net VD6. So let's just go and find out. Let's just double click here and we'll just go and find out where that net is. So it's highlighted the net for me by double clicking it in the constraint manager. We can zoom in. Obviously, I've got a via there. Can't really do much of anything about that one. Let's just follow the net up. Okay, yeah, I can I can probably simplify this. So let's just uh, we'll turn all the layers off and just turn on the two layers of interest. Let's get rid of the shapes. So what I can do here is I can effectively let's just tab to get the the connect line on in layer two, and we'll do change to layer in a layer one. That's resolved the issue. My DRC error has gone away. If we go back to constraint manager, I'm getting green all the way through. So that's the the max wires and the match wires rule inside the case.